Yes, I'm ready, Trevor. Oh, here we go. Uh, hello. Welcome to a nice little commentary between me and my pal, uh, Chan Sui, or Trevor, as I always love to call him, because it's easier. Um, so and I have, like, three different names that I rotate between. Yeah, I know. But um, today... I'm so pissed my Chan Sui account on Xbox Live just, just shat itself. Well, that's not my fault. But anyway, we're here to talk a little bit about... Um, Street Fighter and what we hope to see in Season 2. Um, we're going to be discussing some things we would like to see in the game, like make it better, you know, for a lot of different things. Um, let's see. So I'm going to start off and I'll see what you think. Um, but I think the most obvious one is connection issues. Ever since these past few updates, there's been a lot of um, connection issues with people regardless if they're like live close to each other or far away because I've noticed that I, from the people I used to fought online on ranked a lot of the connections just went to crap so I don't know if that's just for PCs players or what oh god or is it also for um for what's it called uh PS4 players as well but I'm noticing there's a, a bit of a it, oh god so hard to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Have you noticed a difference between a PlayStation connection and, like, to computer connection? A little bit, but I was hoping that was just like, that was just like, I don't know, like a placebo effect, you know what I mean? Oh, god. You forgot about that, didn't you? Wait, um... No, I, uh... I kind of bounced off the wall and I wasn't close enough. Yeah, but it's... I, I just I just know that it's just a big problem with connection all around, so I'm hoping that can get fixed in the future because it's really noticeable. Stop jumping, damn it! Oh no, I mean backdashings. What am I saying? Damn you! Gotcha. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's one thing. Um, next thing I really want to be taking care of is rage quitters on ranked. I'm really getting tired of people getting away with rage quitting. On, and I know they do it for like the guys on bigger ranks, like probably platinum and diamond. But I also appreciate they do it for people on gold and stuff because it's really irritating how people just leave the game when you know range quitting is really difficult because sometimes like people just straight up have to leave a match like they're not angry at you, you didn't do anything to piss them off and just like oh um family emergency or something happened like, yeah like but that. it's still annoying though because but the thing is it's so obvious when they leave it's not even like it's okay if it's like in the middle of a match, maybe, but like if it's near the end where they know I got the points, then screw that, you know? I guess, but even then, like, it's so hard to implement a system where you catch rage quitters and, uh, like, just rage quitters and, and people who, who, like, aren't leaving for, like, a specific reason. Eh, yeah, I guess, but I'd like it to be taken care of, though. It's really irritating, because I know it's probably hard because you can't tell if it's an actual disconnection or what, but it's just irritating that when you get, like, the points that you deserve, especially if it's, like, a really good win and stuff, and, you know, I guess I just play rank too much, and I've experienced it way more than most people. Well, probably other people have experienced just as much. So, I don't know. Oh god. Oh no! Here's one! Poke me out! No, no grab. God, I really gotta learn to confirm that. Oh! Ah, nice. Yeah, but... Eh, I guess we could think of a hitboxes. Chun-Li! <laughs>
Yeah, some hitboxes are goofy. Now, are, are you talking about are you talking about hit, hitboxes for attacks or the character's hitboxes? Like, just like some are you can easily combo, and others are just like you can't at all. So you're talking about character hitboxes? Yeah, you know, I mean, if hmm, well, it can it can vary. I think mostly character hitboxes, because I noticed that a lot of combos people, you know, can't confirm against certain characters. I know Chun Li definitely is one of them. I don't. You win. Cause see, I I play anime funny games, so for those you have to. Uh, there's different weight classes. Yeah. There's light characters, medium characters, and heavy characters. Like light characters are mostly females. Females, medium characters are like like the. Uh, the reuse of the game, and the heavy characters like the grapplers. Yeah. Generally, I don't mind that because it adds a bit of depth to the game. However, I don't. I don't think that was always the case, except for like between Elena and Hugo in like Ultra. I think most of the characters in Street Fighter Pass have had like pretty universal hitboxes. I know, but I, I swear, I know sometimes, like, certain combos drop against certain characters. Like, especially, like, Urien's, um, when he go does his, uh, forward, uh, medium punch into low. I can't tell if that's, like, only works on counter hit, or if you can also still combo it. Because sometimes it just drops randomly, and I can't tell if I have to be a certain... It could. Yeah. If anything... It it might be very range. Why didn't that juggle? It might be very range, de uh, range dependent. Like you might be trying to do a combo when you're like a few pixels out. True. Oh god, why did I press that? Man, I really gotta get better with Bison. <laughs> Oh god, why'd I do that? No! Bastard! Oh god. Oh! Damn! Yes, I went for it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Please tell... As, as far as hitboxes for characters, I don't mind. Some of the hitboxes for the attacks are incredibly fucking dumb. Like the fact that you can stuff Nash's V-Trigger with a meaty button the complete opposite fucking direction. <laughs> which is some anime shit. Like, I punch forward and I hit you when you're clearly behind me. That I'm not okay with, and I generally don't even like Nash. But True. you shouldn't be able to hit someone who's behind. And you know, like Ryu's jump short. True. Yeah. Oh, I I think that needs to be taken out. Like he already has so many good buttons, he doesn't need that. Or Chun Li's stupid light kick bullshit that she can do for fucking anti or every goddamn time she wants. Ah, uh, I think that's that's okay. That's more of like. She had enough anti airs, though. Ah, uh, true. That might be one thing. I don't know. I think I think that's more of like a player learning, lo knowing the character. Because some people can't even do it, so it it, it depends. Well, yeah, but some people can't do anti air jabs. Do you think they just don't which the actually leads me to the next thing? Do you think anti air jabs should disappear from this game and like they give? Okay. Like don't they. Huh? Don't bat me. Don't bat me. Press the button. Yeah, but the thing of it is, here, jump at me. Like you see, I I have that, which may do more damage, but now go ahead. See, like it's so easy though. That's the problem. Exactly. Like see, like I hate that. I hate that when you jump, it just takes away I think it's more skill if here, jump. Or or do that, whichever. Jump. See, to me it's just more skill if you go for like 
medium or heavy, you know, because you're predicting or like when it's happening, you know. Activate your light attack where it's like I'm predicting you're jumping at me when you're already in the air. Duh. No. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh, you clever bastard. <laughs> Yeah, but like, I, th I really do think it should be, like, they should give the jabs, make them better for certain like, character. You know, in my opinion, this should be an anti-air, not yeah. useless. Yeah. Like here, jump at me with your hard punch. Okay, hold on. Ready, set, go. Oh, it does work. <laughs> okay. okay, that just means you're not good at uh, timing it right. Ow. Stop pressing buttons! I'm trying to check a throw because I keep thinking you're going to throw. Eh, uh, it happens. But like jabbing, anti-air jabs, I think should just be like medium punch, or in this case, like if you're Chun Li and stuff, it should be kicks. I mean, for God's sakes, reuse. Yeah, it's one of, the, it's one of the things where like the characters whose only anti-airs are jabs, I understand. Yes. But like Nikali Alex. Nikali doesn't need it. Nikali has a fucking DP. And Ryu. Like Twelve other anti-air. Airs, Ryu doesn't need it. Nash certainly doesn't need it. His freaking forward knee is uh, an anti-air somehow. That is the most hilarious anti-air in the game. I honest. mean, like, I don't know. I think it's just stupid. Oh god! So, yeah. You know what I feel they should fix? What? Rashid's fucking juggles. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, we, uh, we're more focusing on like stuff they need to fix in game, and because you know we have anti airs so far. Let's see. Well, and jabs anyway. Anti air jabs really need to go. I think that they're ruining this potential for like amazing offensive play by certain characters you know like alex yeah eh, maybe alex but like so many other rashid yeah see so easy to anti -air me. when like being in the air is kind of my entire shtick yeah oh god um well, I guess that's one thing we can agree on. Um, I do want to see, like, extended combos or, like, features and stuff. Something that make, like, this game go more than just, you know, V-Trigger and stuff like that. Like, one thing I'd like to see, I think one thing that would be nice would be a, like, a, uh, like, a, I don't know what you call it, like, instead of V-Trigger, maybe you get, like, a damage boost on certain combos. You know, like, when you activate... That could be something, or, you know. Like a rage mode? Y yeah, maybe like that. Something different, you know. Something to just spice this game up to make it be like, holy shit, you know. Because I, like um, I like to think there's a lot of characters here with the potential of just being like that character. It sounds like you want X-Factor in the game, essentially. I, I'm not, I am not saying these things. I am, I am not saying that Wait. at all. <laughs> I strongly disagree with a mechanic that opens up new combo opportunities that is basically just... I really hate comeback mechanics in fighting games. Well, technically there's a lot of comeback me mechanics in fighting games. Well, yes, that's why I hate most of them. Both <laughs> other, like, it's one of those where, like, if you're losing, you shouldn't get a handicap because you're getting your ass kicked. You should learn to fucking oh, maybe. get your ass kicked. Oh god. God, I I love Urian. I don't know why. Oh god. Oh no. Don't do it. Oh 
my god. I don't know why. Oh, oh that would... No! Damn it! You fell for it. I tried to bait it, but I ran forward too much. Oh, thought that was punishable. It's like minus two. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. No, what the? Uh, my mix-ups still aren't good with this character. Oh god, why'd I do that? <laughs> you really just tried DP4, didn't you? Really? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Piss that combo didn't kill you. I, I know. Just a jab in the mixer, but come on! Damn it! Well, you know. What else does Urine have? Actually, I have no idea. What? 1, what, what else does Urine have? I don't know. I think uh, I think it's close to 1,000, maybe. I don't know. Ow. Oh, damn you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice dash. Thanks. Oh, man. All right. Um, anyway. Now we're going to get into the topic with uh, characters, okay? So... Who shall we start with? I got them all in alphabetical order, so give me a second. Let me just pull it up.